So look, bro, it's been three months since this Z Flip 5 that came out. And it's cool and all, but it still got its issues that Samsung just still ain't rubbing the right way with me. And that's what y'all gonna find out in a second. All right, bro, so check this out. Look, I'm gonna put it right out here from the jump, okay? So I'm more of a fold guy, me personally. I'm literally recording my Z Fold 5 right now. But look, my nigga, the Z Flip 5 definitely got its place. Like I've been bringing this thing to the gym and it's been cool for this. So you can see here, I got it in minute 512 gigs and I'm telling y'all like this color is just busted for real though. Just looking around this thing, it looked cool to me. Like I love the design of the Z Flip 5. At first I wasn't really feeling it like that when the Samsung came out with the Z Flip 3, but now I kind of like adapted to it cause Samsung really came from just a regular phone looking design. Now they got this like half black, half colored phone over here, which, okay, Okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that mode now. Especially because they mostly got screen over here at the top, which we're going to talk about in a second. But yeah, just phone this thing. You got a nice little compact phone over here. So, you know, it ain't really going to get in the way too much, especially if you're a lady. I know ladies, y'all been talking about this for real though. Y'all been talking about how y'all love y'all flips because you just got these tiny ass pockets, which I don't understand why. But you do, and like these flips fit in the pockets cool. Also, it's pretty light. I ain't got no issues with the durability or nothing like that. And it just feels like pretty solid. I don't really feel like it's going to break on me. Now, I've seen some door dashes out here. Out here in Kenosha, I've been seeing door dashers with Z flips and stuff, and I've been seeing it crack down the middle. So, I mean, it's not to say that it don't happen, but I'm just saying it never happened to me though. And I got like the Z flip to the Z flip five, I got all of them, but yeah, you can see right here Z flip four and Z flip five. Anyway, you know, we gotta talk about this, man. This is my thing for real though. The commas. See what's good with these pictures and videos, man. I went ahead and took some pictures. I don't even remember where it was. Let me check in my phone real quick. Okay, it looks like I was in Milwaukee and Kenosha, so check this stuff out real quick. So we downtown Kenosha right now, recording on the Z Flip 5, recording 4K60. Uh, let me know how y'all think about the quality and the audio. So it's a little windy out here, but we gotta put this in 5X and then we got 1X. We don't have a telephoto, so we can't get any really clearer than this once we zoom in, but now we have 10X and the stabilization actually seemed to be pretty decent. And now we got the lakefront over here. So this is called Harbor Park here in Kenosha. Now, let me go over here. So I'm crossing these little streetcar tracks. You can see over here, we got Lake Michigan. We got the trees. We got a little, a little pathway here for the bicyclists. We got the water tower here, 10 times zoom. And then we have some hotels and other things over there. So. Yeah, again, let me know how y'all feeling about this. Colors is looking good. Got a little mirror over there, some flags. If I go down these stairs, and we got Lake Michigan. It is dead, ain't no soul over here right now. Sometimes people over here like to go fishing this late, but yeah, so Lake Michigan, now we in 0.5X. Now we in 1X again. We got the lighthouse over there little tourist attraction everybody go over there to the pier in the lighthouse so yeah i figured we drive through downtown a little bit here got some of the condos over there and then we got more of the main part of downtown over here and i'll show you that in a minute it's even dead over here too but you know i think it's because it's like thursday you know ain't really nothing going on too much but yeah check this out buildings over here got some taller buildings over there we got some more colorful buildings over here there's a lot of lights going on so kenosha like to decorate this every single year with all these lights yeah downtown is very dead as you can see here not really a soul in sight which is not too surprising because usually when they get this late it's 125 usually when they get this late ain't really nobody out here for real so you know it is what it is, I guess. See, look, when all that riding and all that was going down, it was all going down mostly at that courthouse over there. That's where they were shooting fireworks and whatever else. And then down here, they went down this street, down Sheridan Road, and I'll show you over here a little bit more. This is the truth. 
So they came all the way down here. They was marching down the street, right down to this uh, freighter over here. This used to be a hospital. Now it's like a medical clinic, which pissed a lot of people off. And it just happened not that long ago. And nobody really knows why they got rid of the hospital and they because they had their emergency room and everything else and it was busy so nobody really understood that it pissed a lot of people off because now the closest actual hospital with an er is probably like 15 minutes away from downtown now it's crazy and there's a decent amount of people living downtown too and that's the cameras man so honestly it ain't bad but it ain't good so i mean well it is good but i'm just saying like for a thousand dollars i feel like if you picked up an s23 them cameras definitely gonna be better than this you don't got no 50 times zoom or nothing like that you don't got no 30 times zoom like you even got on the z45 over here it's just like a more basic camera i feel like it's definitely gonna get the job done you feel me but like at the same time it ain't gonna blow you out the water or nothing i feel like these days anyway i mean it's better than normal but i feel like it's just still not that good as it could be and that goes for pictures in videos front and back so i'm talking about the selfie camera and the back camera the microphones do sound pretty good like if you're just doing youtube or something like that you feel me like if you're doing a youtube video like me right if you want to go and do a video the z flip 5 gonna do you good for that if you're doing tiktok snapchat all that stuff i mean snapchat it's it could be a little bit better because it's just an android thing in general you know what i'm saying but like even like instagram and all that that's cool but i feel like i recommend if you're gonna be posting ig videos maybe use a regular camera and then upload it to ig that's what i've been doing for a minute to make it look like the best that it can so try that out for sure probably the same thing with snap i would just say if you're gonna be posting on social media use the regular camera and then upload it to the social media next up is the os and the speed so check this out right i'm on the one ui 6 beta so it's out right now so that kind of tells you right there from the jump that samsung been doing a good job at supporting this it's all android 14 it's getting all the updates and stuff so i ain't really got no issues with that and as a matter of fact it's telling me I got an update right now. Look at this. You can't really see it right now, but yeah, it got an update. But yeah, the OS been cool for me. I ain't got no issues. I noticed with One UI 6 though, ain't really nothing new from One UI 5, at least in the beta right now. I'm just noticing it's the same shit basically that you've seen in One UI 6 on other phones. So I mean, like if you was really looking for anything in particular with the flip, you ain't really gonna get nothing for real. But yeah, you got a bunch of features up in here, man. So let me go to the camera real quick and let me show you this. So you got this cover screen preview over here. So you can see yourself. I'm actually showing like if some Somebody want to take a picture or you god hold on i'm screwing it up bad if somebody wants you to take a picture of them with your phone they can see themselves with the cover screen right here and that's dope especially because let me go ahead and click on this right here so full screen now they can really see themselves over here and then you got features like the flex mode so you can go and do this and pull up youtube and just watch youtube like that so you got the controls at the bottom and you got the screen at the top right here as you can see pretty much all that shit that came from the flips before you got in the flip five now and on top of that of course, if we go and fold this, you got that cover screen right here, boy, this thing go crazy. So I'll talk about this a little bit more later, but like you got a bunch of features up in here, like you got your timer, you got your alarms, you got add apps up in here, like YouTube and stuff, especially with Good Lock. If you download Good Lock from the Galaxy Store and you download, I think it's like Motai, something like that. So download Good Lock from the Galaxy Store, or if you got the One UI 6 beta, it's just gonna be called Stove. Go and download Motai Star. When you go ahead and do that, it's gonna give you this option to go ahead and put more apps on your cover screen. So all right, look, I'm gonna put y'all along. Go to Good Lock, click on Motai Star. It's gonna bring you to this Motai Star screen. Click on iHeart Galaxy Foldable and click on Launcher Widget. Hit on Enable Launcher Widget and then you get all the apps that you can throw on the cover screen that you want. That's cut as fuck, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Cause look, bro, like realistically, the cover screen, like from the Z Flip 4, again, I don't really wanna get into it too much, but the Z Flip 4 cover screen really wasn't doing it like that. It was cool coming from like the Z Flip and Z Flip 5G and all that, but like this upgrade right here is something else. I could respond to messages, I could go to Google Maps, I could do all that up on here, you feel me? I can even screen record on here. Why the fuck would I need to do that? But you can do it, apparently. Next up, let's go and talk about that battery life, man. So the battery life up on here, it's decent, all right? So for a flip, it's decent. And this, are, I guess it's decent for a regular phone too. But at the same time, I would say, you know, it's good for a flip, but decent for a phone. So when I say a regular phone, I'm talking about something like the S23. So the S23 ain't even really a fair comparison because it's just a whole different beast with the battery up on here. So it lasts forever. I ain't got no issues with the S23's battery life. But on here, I would say it's going to last you throughout the day, but like, don't expect nothing really too much beyond that. And if you're cool with that, just charge your phone every night like you probably already do, then cool. Then just go ahead and go about your business with it. But it's gonna obviously depend on the type of person, you feel me? So like, I don't know how much you use your phone. Like, I don't know your life, you feel me? I'm saying you feel me too much, but look, 
I just say I use my phone probably th uh, the amount of like a regular person, even though I got this whole tech channel and shit. Like, I don't use my phone nothing too crazy. I'll be on my phone when I'm bored, but I don't really be doing nothing too crazy. I don't be playing games and nothing like that. That's just be on Facebook, you know, Snap, TikTok, whatever else. I be making phone calls. Yes, we be making phone calls in 2023. And I leave voicemail, so what's good with it? <laughs> I sound way ridiculous right now. But for real though, I would say battery life is I, right. and as for the charger speeds, it's actually been pretty decent too. So it's not like nothing too crazy again, but also it's not gonna be nothing like the slowest that you've seen before. I'm sure you've seen slower than the Flip 5 for sure, cause it's definitely some slow ass phones out there, but this is cool. Next up, we gotta talk about the screen and the fingerprint scanner. So we gotta talk about the cover screen, right? First things first, like let's talk about this compared to the Z Flip 4. You cannot tell me this ain't a hell of a difference right here. I don't wanna <laughs> yeah, all right, this is cool. With how much bigger Samsung made the cover screen, and I'll pull up the actual screen size for y'all, but with how much bigger Samsung made the cover screen up on here, you can do a lot more than you could before. So all right, I'm Googling it, and the Z Flip 5's cover screen size is 3.4 inches. So that in comparison to the Z Flip 4, I'm gonna look that up too. 1.9 inches on the Z Flip 4. So you got 3.4 on the Z Flip 5 versus 1.9 on the Z Flip 4. And who said size didn't make a difference? I'm telling y'all though, man, like this is probably the biggest upgrade of the Z Flip 5, but like that's cool right there. For me and it looks good and everything you got AMOLED so you're gonna be getting 60 hertz up on here so if you look at something like the Razer right you got 120 hertz which I mean to be honest who, who the fuck gives a fuck about 120 hertz on the cover screen it's cool that it has it but at the same time I don't need no 120 hertz on my 3.4 inch screen like nah I'm good just give me a good functional screen right here and I'm straight right there from the jump and like I was telling y'all earlier I can open up YouTube and Spotify Apple Music and all that without even having to unfold my phone so that was one of my beasts with the flips for the longest time is that like I just like can't do that much with it folded so now that we got it like this it's still not gonna be as practical as something like a fold you feel me but at the same time this is a hell of a lot better than it used to be so i can actually do a lot more and it's actually a lot more functional than before and as for when you unfold it right you got the crease and everything yes it's there but it don't really bother me you get used to it it might be a little bit longer to get used to than something like a fold because it's just going up and down and usually when you're going through your phone you're just swiping up and down right so every time you swipe up and down you're gonna feel it on the flip but again i just feel like i got used to it so it ain't really that big of a deal to me as for the screen quality you're gonna get 1440p and this is samsung we talking about so you know it's gonna look good right you're gonna get hdr and everything on youtube so you ain't got no issues with that and you're gonna get a 120 hertz screen on the inside so all that's cool the screen brightness i ain't got no issues with that either now for that sound quality let's go and hit it up real quick i know i keep doing this and it's like you're hearing it through a microphone so you ain't really gonna know for sure but i gotta do something man like fuck, what, what, what the fuck you want me to do go to your crib and play it for you chucky beast though you know what it is man we about to go and play a song by him so so let's go ahead and rewind that. Actually, let's go and fast forward a little bit. There we go. That's mad loud. That kind of surprised me with how loud it is. So speakers on the Z Flip 5 is impressive. I, I, I can't hold you, all right, all right, that's cool. Now the bass and everything, the fullness, it ain't really none too special like I seen on the Z Fold 5, but you got a lot more room to work with that. So you got stereo speakers up on here and it's loud, man. So no issues with that, I'm cool with the speakers. And lastly, you know, we got to do my legendary call quality test, man. So we got to go and do this. It's only going to give me sub six, so it's not going to give me millimeter wave, but for T-Mobile, it's been doing me pretty good. So just, it feels like pretty much any other phone. I don't really got no problems with this. So now we about to go and do my test. So I'm gonna go and grab my landline. We're gonna see how this sounds for real. Wait, hold up a minute, y'all. I think somebody called me. Oh, wait, it's just me. I forgot I ain't got no fucking friends. So, all right, this is what's gonna sound like talking through the earpiece on the Z Flip 5. So I got that to my ear right now. And let me know what y'all think about this. I got my landline at full volume. Now we talking on speaker on the Z Flip 5. So let me know how the call quality is up on this. Again, I got it like, you know, at a reasonable distance to my my face. Now talking to y'all through the Z Flip 5 and we got our speaker and we talking in front of a fan. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you outside and it's windy out there. This is what it's going to sound like. So, let me know what this sound like to y'all. This sound good? Now y'all got me talking from my landline to the Z Flip 5 and the Z Flip 5 going through speakerphone on full volume. So, how this sound to y'all? <laughs> And now this is the Z Flip 5 on the earpiece. Boy, let me know how this sound, man. Let me know how this sounds. Does it sound good to y'all? Does it not sound good? Let me know. 
Every single time I do a video with my chain on, I'm just getting away of the mic, so I have to take that shit off expeditiously. So now I gotta run y'all through some of the pros and cons I got about this thing. Starting with the pros I got about the Z Flip 5, and that's with the Wi-Fi 6E, that we got Wi-Fi 6E. So that was one of the things about the Z Flip 4, I just wasn't feeling that we didn't have Wi-Fi 6E, and I'm pretty sure even the Z Fold 4 did. So it's cool that we finally do got Wi-Fi 6E because I got gigabit fiber, and that means that we finally get up to those speeds up on there. Actually, we got more than that. Wi-Fi 6E is fast as fuck, bro, I'm just saying. The next pro about this is that this is more of a phone for everybody so the fold ain't really a phone for everybody i feel like this is more of like a foldable phone for everybody i feel like it's more of that and probably why more people buy it also because it's cheaper it's a thousand dollars versus 1800 i paid like 20 over 2000 for that but yeah it's more well-rounded i feel like it's probably gonna fit you better if you're coming from something like a s series or something like that you feel me the next pro about this is the differences from the z flip 4 to the z flip 5 like the differences from the fold 4 to the fold 5 ain't really shit but this it is this is a big ass difference right here with the screen and everything like yeah i feel like just the screen alone is probably like just worth it to me the next pro about this is that it goes up to 512 gigs so like with the z flip 5 i don't really expect it to be none too crazy with this but 512 gigs i feel like it's pretty cool because i think we came from up to 256 gigs and that wasn't really nothing for me nowadays i, I really just top out my storage whenever i can so i got a terabyte z45 you know what i'm saying so yeah i get like the highest storage but at the same time like it's cool to have 512 gigs so basically you're getting double the storage that you had before but i could be wrong though so don't quote me on this the next pro is that Samsung ever since the first flip has not changed the price. It's always been a thousand bucks and they made all these upgrades, right? It still never changed. I talked about this same subject in my Z Flip versus Z Flip 5 video and I thought that was cool as hell. It still is. Now you can spend a little bit more money and get more storage, but at the same time, like it still starts at $9.99, which is like these days, honestly, let's be real here for a smartphone these days, that's not bad. Nowadays, they making phones for like 1800 bucks, $2,000 and shit. Like I said, I just paid that much for my Z Fold 5. And another pro is for the ladies, like I said before, Fold, you get a bonus of pocket ability so you could just go ahead and fold this thing and put it in your tiny ass pockets as y'all already know you don't have to put it in your purse and you can rock out like this i even know some girls were saying like they think this is cute or whatever so you know i mean it works out but you knew it was coming man you know it's coming so I still got some beef about this though. So one of my dislikes I got about this is, and it's been the thing since the original fucking flip, but ain't got no Samsung decks. Samsung, what are you doing, man? So well, I don't understand what the issue is. Well, I know they said it was probably some of thermos or something like that, but we got it in a razor. Why the fuck we don't got it in this, man? If thermos is an issue, fix the fucking issue. I know, I know it's easier said than done, but at the same time, like, come on, man, you're Samsung. I know you can do it. The next con about this is that the cameras are still mid compared to other phones, okay? S23, I, oh wait, I have it right here. I was just gonna say I wish I had it, but Pixel A Pro. These type of cameras right here is hitting, okay? These cameras right here, it's mid. Again, it's not bad enough like that, but at the same time, like you compare it to the S23, it don't want no fucking smoke with the S23. Nobody does, really. It's gonna blow the Z Flip 5 out the water every single fucking time. Cause you got a hundred times zoom, you just got better overall quality. You got 8K video on here. 8K video, 30 FPS. That ain't nothing to mess with. The next con about this is that it don't got millimeter waves. So it ain't that big of a deal, especially for me. Cause like, Actually, you know what? No, that's wrong. So I was going to say that my city don't got millimeter wave, but it do got millimeter wave now. I think it's like AT&T or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's AT&T, but you don't got Verizon or nothing like that out here in Kenosha. But what I'm saying is that if you're in a city like Chicago or something like that, that's cool to have millimeter wave, right? Chicago, Milwaukee, maybe you're in, uh, I don't know, out there in Ohio, fucking, what's in Ohio? I can't even remember. Cleveland. So if you live in Cleveland, I think they got millimeter wave out there. I'm pretty sure they do. So like if you're living in one of those cities, that's going to be cool for you. But I I feel like for the majority of the people like it's really only in cities downtown you're not really gonna find out your crib or something you're not gonna get millimeter wave in your house even in new york city i feel like if you live in new york city you maybe if you live in manhattan sure but i don't know if you're gonna find it somewhere in queens same thing in chicago if i'm over here on 67th or something like that i'm not gonna get no millimeter wave all right if i'm in west garfield they ain't got no millimeter wave the only millimeter wave you're gonna find in chicago really is gonna be in a loop so downtown with all the tourists and all that but still it would have been cool 
cool to have though, I'm just saying. And then the last con about this is that it got IPX8, so it's water resistant, it's not dust resistant. So you got the highest water resistance, but you still don't got no dust resistance up in this thing. That's disappointing though. So I never really had no issues with me getting dust inside the phone. I'm pretty sure there's dust in there by now, but it never really affected my phone usage. So as long as it don't affect my phone usage, I'm good. So I'm not gonna hold y'all, man. So me coming up with those cons was kinda hard to do. So it don't really do nothing amazing, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's more of like a simple phone for like simple people. I say simple, even though the damn thing folds, but you know what I'm saying, man. So it ain't nothing too crazy, but it's gonna get done everything you need to get done on it. So honestly, that's a little refreshing to see. With that being said, can I recommend this thing? Can I give it the Genix tip of approval? And should you upgrade from the Z Flip 4 over here? I would say yes upgrade and get my genic stamp of approval just the screen alone i'm saying bro the whole point of a flip is to have it like this and then unfold it when you need to so the thing about this is that you don't have to unfold it all the time you can just use a cover screen on this is gonna have to unfold it a lot more and I, i'm telling y'all you're gonna notice it it's gonna be a lot less annoying just using it on here that's one reason a big reason actually the probably the biggest reason <laughs> why i use the z45 because like i don't have to unfold it all the time i could just use the cover screen and and then unfold it whenever I need to. I don't have to unfold it. I could watch YouTube videos if I wanted to. But with that being said, man, like hopefully I enjoyed this though. I'm finna go and get up out of here. So that was gonna be my consumer review after three months. Hopefully I enjoyed this, man. Let me know what y'all think about the Z Flip 5 in the comments below. Y'all feeling this color though? This color hitting to me. So they ain't really have none too crazy, I feel like, but I still like this color, man. I feel like the Z Flip 5 is just a good overall phone like you can mess with. So I would recommend to get it from Best Buy, Samsung.com, wherever you want to get it. So I will have links down below too. But with that being said, man, again, I'm going to get about it here. So hopefully I enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Centec on Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are so most active. And that's why I got to go and wrap this up though. So again, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below and what y'all get this. But y'all be smooth, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace out.